Hey, what's up guys? This is Trevor Baptiste. I'm here in the Burn FO photo shoot set. Um, I just want to take a little, take a second to show you guys some important aspects about the head. As a face-off guy, we do this for a little bit amount of time. I've used every head that's out there, um, but I'm extremely picky when it comes to my heads. Uh, I used the same head for all four years of my college career, and um, let's just say I, I never wanted to stop using it. It was I thought it was the perfect head for me until the Burn FO. I've never felt this way about a head ever in my career that if I could never try another head again, that'd be fine with me. So first thing you notice about the head is that it's asymmetric, meaning that one side is different than the other. You see that? This side, this side, they're different. Um, so the top rail, the left side of the head here, um, is much thinner and more flexible. Uh, that lets you slip under your opponent's head and also it lets you bend your head in different positions. So whether you like face flex or if you like a more traditional plunge. Um, now the right, the right rail or the bottom rail is really thick and is extremely strong. So it gives you stability and actually keeps the head from warping. Um, I'm sure you guys notice other heads on the market that face flex, a lot of times they could ladle. So this right rail keeps that head straight and it also pinches into the ball so it grabs the ball more rather than bending back. Another thing that we really wanted to add was a short throat. It allows you to get your hand closer to the ball and get more leverage on your opponent. Um, another thing that we add was a great scoop. You know, being a face-off guy, you gotta be able to pick up ground balls really fast and effectively. So we've reinforced the scoop um, and also made it nice and flat. Um, really lets you get low to pick it up, but at the same time, you could also reach and just drive right through GBs rather than it being too, uh, too thick right here. Probably the hardest piece of this design was making sure that it was game ready and also durable. So obviously any head that's ready off the shelf, it's usually a little bit more flexible and doesn't last as long. Um, so we obviously wanted something that didn't break, didn't take a long time to break in, but was also something that would last you a while. So uh, I think we had, we did a good job balancing those two in this head. Making face off heads is extremely difficult. It seems if you add to recovery, you lose flexibility, or if you add to stability, then you lose um, recovery. Um, so we tried to make a head that was universal, that also hit um, every box. And one big point of that is adding face flex to this head, but you can also traditionally flex this head. Um, here, I'll show you. Face flex is kind of when you let the head bend in on itself and straight back. So as you see right here, I could do that pretty easily. I could just flex that head straight back. And notice, right, that left side roll is bent, pinching in and the flex on the back side is actually lower, which actually grabs the ball a little bit more on that face flex. Um, so if you like the face flex, that's great. I'm a big face flex fan. Now, if you're a traditional pinch, you could also do that, just coming in and bending back like other heads on the market. Um, notice that the pinch is more on the back side of the head, right? This back corner right here and also up here. So those multiple pinch points and pinch angles helps you break in your stick however you like it and it's extremely universal and that's why I think it's the best head on the market.